Okay, so we're in the uh, top of the seventh. And for the Reds, I brought in Marty Keough for Wally Post because he's an OF2. And I wanted to bump my outfield up a little bit. So I made a notation here that I was bringing in a player and I brought Marty Keough in. And I'm just, I can tell that I brought him in at the start of the seventh. So I'm up to the, uh, the Yankees are up to bat. And Jerry Pretty is leading off the seventh. And uh, in that last inning, uh, Gordy Coleman hit a two-run home run with Veda Pinson on first after a single. So the score is now four to one Reds. So we have a 12 for Pretty, which is a 25, which uh, over here with the bases empty. That is a 4-3. So I'm going to mark that down. 4-3. Okay, so let's flip my card here. And I have Bill Dickey up. And he rolls a 32. That'll be a 26. And a 26 is another 4-3. And a 32 on Phil Rosito. That's a 26. And as we just learned, that's also a 4-3. So the Yankees went down in order. And I'm sure tying a record held by many. Okay, so... Now we have Leo Cardenas up in the bottom of the seventh with the Reds up four to one. That is a 43. Cardenas, that's a 29. And a 29 is a pitcher to first. So that'll be one three. Okay. Now we have Eddie Casco up. That's a 22. And Eddie Casco has a 7 on 22. So a 7 against the May pitcher is a single right. Okay, so we have a runner on first. And Frank Robinson's coming up to bat. And that is a 52. That's a 27. 27 with a runner on first. Pull this back up here where you can see the numbers a little bit. Although it's not focusing very well. Anyway, a 27. That's a 5-4 uh, fielder's choice. So I'm going to put him down as a reaching first fielder's choice. And that's a 5-4. So my handwriting is not the best. Okay, so now we have Hank Foyles up to bat. You got a 35 with a runner on first. 35 is a 13, so that is a strikeout. So that's three down. Okay, that's no runs on one hit. Now we're going to the top of the eighth, and Buddy Hassett's up to bat. 65 is a 35 and a 35 is a foul out to the catcher so that is P2 okay so now we have Joe Gordon 
up to bat. 62. Is a 12. Oh, there's a 12 is a 5 3. Five, three. Okay, so now we have Charlie Keller up with two outs in the top of the eighth. That is a 53. That is a 16. And a 16 is a single to center. So that is. So now we have Joe D up with a runner on first and two outs in the top of the eighth. You could make this a one run ball game. That's a 64. And for one of the few times in his career, he strikes out. So that's zero runs on one hit. So we got the bottom of the eighth coming up. And we have uh, Hank Foyles made the last out. So now we have Marty Keogh. Coming up for the Reds. Let's put this back on bases empty. That's a 55. 55 is an 8. An 8 with a runner on, with nobody on against an A pitcher is a P5. Okay. So let's get a the next batter up is Jerry Lynch. Jerry Lynch rolled a 55. 55 on Jerry Lynch is an eight, and that's still a pop out to third. Okay. Now we got Veda Pinson up. Two outs, bottom of the eighth. That's a 34. 34 is a 31. And a 31 is a fly out to center field. So that's F8. Zero, zero. Okay, so we have Roy Columbine leading off the top of the night for the Yankees. That's a 55 and a Roy Columbine. That is an 8. And I think we ought to know by now that that is a pop to third base. P5. Okay. Tommy Heinrichs up. He rolls a 52. That's a 27. 27 is a 5-3 grounder grounder to third okay and now we have Jerry Pretty last chance the Yankees have here 44 and that is an 8 and that's still a pop to third so Five three zero zero. So let's see the totals for the game were looks like it was four to one. Yeah, the red scored. They had one run. They had four runs. The Yankees had one, two, three, four hits. And the Reds had one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. And errors, let's see, we had. One error on the Yankees, E5. One error on the Yankees. 
and we had one one error on the reds okay so a couple things I'd like to point out um, I did make a defensive substitution for the reds because they were ahead um, in the bottom of the sixth when Veda Pinson got that single I'll show you his card here I rolled a uh, 53 and he got the 16. So if I was using the uh, optional fielding rating for advanced stat players on the 16, I would have been using fielding one because uh, Joe DiMaggio, the center fielder for the Yankees, has a three. I don't know if you can see that real well. And a 16 on fielding one is a, that's a fly out to center. So that could have made a little bit of difference. Um, but also remember when I had the runner on third in the uh, bottom of the fifth, I played in, which normally I would just play deep, but I played in and that cut the runner off at home. So that saved a run. But uh, there's, there's, you know, it's baseball. Basically, once the manager fills out the lineup, that's his job. But uh, there are a few decisions to make during the game. Um, I usually play with the advanced pitching option, which if a pitcher gives up three runs in or five runs in three innings, he's dropped a grade. And uh, these are teams from the 40s and 60s so they don't have a whole lot of bullpen I think both teams have a B reliever and I just usually I play basic because I'm just rolling through a game just to see what results I get but uh, anyway that's what I had and uh, hope you enjoyed if you have any questions uh, leave me a note down in the comments thank you and hope you enjoyed it goodbye